policy on posts promoting gun sales. And as KTV's Robert Honda reports, the measures are aimed at protecting minors and preventing illegal sales. But some gun advocates ask, what's next? Facebook doesn't process gun sales itself, but a lot of selling and discussion about guns takes place on the site. So this year, the group's Mothers Demand Action for Gun Sense in America and Mayors Against Illegal Guns petitioned the social media giant demanding a more restrictive policy. The group's collected more than 230,000 signatures. Today, Facebook announced measures that include age limits to prevent minors from seeing postings of firearm sales and will delete gun sale posts that specify no background checks or take place across state lines. Today, American moms are very gratified that Facebook and Instagram listened to us and they took meaningful steps to address the legal gun sales. Here at San Jose City Hall, Mayor Chuck Reed said he and other mayors were also happy about the policy change, calling it overdue. I don't think uh, criminals should be able to buy guns. I don't think children should be able to buy guns. I don't think people who are mentally unstable should be able to buy guns. There ought to be universal background checks. Numerous gun advocates were quick to point out their groups approved of any steps to block illegal gun sales, but some, including responsible citizens of California, are concerned about the movement leading to a wider crackdown on private posts. When you start limiting the ability for people to exchange ideas about um, you know, gun control or gun rights you know, on an open forum such as Facebook, and uh, just as long as that doesn't happen. Facebook will begin getting rid of posts during the next few weeks and is counting heavily on them being flagged by users. In San Jose, Robert Honda, KTVU, Channel 2.